Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Air, because Jason here. It is an absolute beautiful day today. I got a long sleeve on now, but I don't think that's going to last long. It's going to warm up here, and we've got a lot of fun stuff we're going to be doing today. Uh, but before we get started, um, we had company last weekend. We had family come in from Iowa, where I grew up at, and uh, just had a blast with those guys. We got, uh, we got on the mill and uh, did some of that and just hung out and ate good food and it was really good time so i said a couple months ago in a video i reached out to an old marine buddy of mine and got up with him and encouraged everybody to do the same uh, i'm gonna do the same thing again with with family uh, it was good to uh, see those guys some of them i hadn't seen i mean it's going 10 years and some of the, the younger ones i mean i hadn't seen them since they were you know really small so big shout out uh thanks for everybody for coming my mom came over uh, my uncle Bill, Aunt Rosalie, my cousin Jay, his wife Christy, uh, their kids Zach, Tyler, and Matt, Matt's wife McKenna. I got to meet all those guys, hang out with them. Thanks guys for coming. Shout out to you. Love y'all. Um, good times. And that's kind of leading into what we've got going on today is white oak. And what we're doing is we're cutting white oak into two by two lengths of 50 inches. And we'll get into that here in a second. But what we're, what we're trying to produce is ultimately what people would use for in their barbecue uh, smokers. So whether you're a weekend warrior, whether you're a barbecue competition uh, guy or gal out there that does that, then uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be uh, something that you consider going to on that. So we've got the white oak and, you know, for now, for drying purposes, this is what we're gonna get to. It's a two by two, 50 inches in length, and we're gonna stack these on pallets and then strap them in to that pallet for drying and, and you'll let them air dry for as long as we can until they acclimate. So the reason for the 50 inch length is to be able to be somewhat flexible, whether we wanna cut those in lengths of, let's say 12 inches, eight inches, or six inches. So depending on the, the, the type stove you may have or the size, you know, after we get, we want to leave them at 50 inches for air drying and for kiln drying. And then once we pull them out of the kiln, we're ready to process and, and get it to your house so you can uh, smoke wood, so, uh, smoke wood. You don't want to smoke the wood, you want to burn the wood, smoke the meat. But anyway, uh, depending on the sow side you have, this may be a 12 inch, an eight inch may suit you better, or even some of the smaller six inch and any of those lengths you know we may may split them down even further so it's random and kind of looks more you know you see these small solo stoves that people burn on their patios and that kind of thing I mean, that's what we're looking at here so. but in order to get there we've got this pile here of which the bottom two by twos is a, a log that i cut last saturday uh, we did that for purposes of the Waxall Woodworks website getting up and running. We did a photo shoot and uh, some video with our marketing guys. So you'll see that coming up very soon. Uh, the next log we came up, we cut more two by two white oak and that was my cousin Tyler on that. And the third log we cut was my cousin Jay got on this guy. Really nice looking two inch uh, live edge slabs. And Jay started cutting that Got a couple good cuts off the top, really looked good. Flipped it 180, looked good as well. We had a nice wide piece, but if we would have turned it 90 to try to really square off a cant, eh, it wasn't gonna work. I mean, we we're gonna lose so much material. So we decided to just stay with the live edge slab. So they look really good. And we're just gonna move those guys onto our other live edge pile first. And then we're gonna get down here and process the rest of these two by twos. So we'll get the big stuff out of the way. We'll move the two by twos down to the shop. We'll cut those into 50 inch lengths. And then we will stack them four feet wide and 65 inches tall. Well, probably 60. Uh, you'll have dunnage underneath. But that is the size that will fit in the kiln that we are looking at with uh, four of these pallets. It kind of gives us some flexibility and uh, a different way to store material because again, I got caught, I've said multiple videos, you just can't have enough storage space. You can't have roof systems built or covers for all this lumber storage. You can't have enough of it. So what this does is makes a smaller unit 
and I don't think we're going to get into it on this one, but probably a future video. We'll build, we built uh, lumber hats already for the longer stuff. This will be uh, shorter if we put two together. You've got a total of eight inch, eight inches, how about eight feet. So the metal typically comes in 10 foot lengths. So that'll be a nice cover over those. You can probably put two together, boom, makes them real easy to move around. Uh, but we'll get into that later. So today, move the big stuff, process the two by twos, and then get the last white oak log on the mill and cut that up into two by two sections as well. Strap them, get them temporarily stored in the uh, sawmill shed and that should be the video but come along we're gonna have some fun i'm doing all kinds of takes i'm tongue-tied today but uh, ta to tag along with uh, having a family in town we, we couldn't decipher or remember how many years ago it was but my aunt bill and aunt rosalie sent out this happy new year card with them sitting on their john deere gator and we've had I, i'm guessing it's about five years because i know we were out here working on the property um but I always wanted to take this picture and then take a picture of Karen and I on the gator and send it to him. And it just sat in there. I'd come across the picture once in a while. I kept saving it, but it, we got one even better. So they came and visited us. So we got actual pictures of Karen and I with those guys holding the picture on the gator. I'll show you that now, but that's super cool. Glad those guys could come. It's awesome. So I hope this is the dumbest thing I do today. I had, uh, I took that lid, lumber lid off the other one that we were just working on and I put it on the six by sixes temporarily. It had, this guy was up in the, wasn't in the center, it was on that right side on the top. And I tried to balance that lumber lid and it didn't quite work out well and it flipped a 180 and got stuck between that tree and this the six by six pile so i'm having to hand pull this guy out so that's fun but get my workout in today all right so i got this uh obviously it's upside down so i really only got one shot at this i'm gonna try to without bending and damaging the frame i'm hoping to flip it over one time it'll land how it's supposed to and then i'll put it put it on the cover but we'll see okay well i guess that worked um you can see it bent that front end a little bit but not too bad so i guess i gotta call that success okay so we got our two by twos moved down here to the shop and the order of operations will be bring in the two by twos come to the miter saw We've got this set up with a jig, so we're gonna cut 50 inch long sections. Then we'll come out here to the pallet in the back and we'll stack and sticker until we get up to uh, 65 inches total with the pallet. Okay, so I went to sticker the second layer and I realized I probably had my orientation wrong on this pallet. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and strip that first layer off. I'm going to put a row of, sorry about that focus, I'm going to put a row of stickers in the direction that they're laying now to create the true four foot dimension because we're a little bit short. You see that six, eight inches there. So we want to pick that up so we're right at four feet. Um, and then we'll get started from there. So a little bit of a backtrack here, but live and learn definitely because we want these things really precise 
when we wrap them up. So, you know, they're, they're a nice, just four foot wide bundle that can go in the kiln, but a little setback, but we'll get it fixed. All right, so that's good effort there. Um, we are at 29 inches right now, and we'll get up to a total of 65. So we're still probably under halfway of where we need to go uh, just with this one load, which is fine, but this is a good start. Um, Next step is we got one more white oak up on the logs. So we can get that guy on the mill, process it, and get it on here. We're not going to get anywhere close to that 65 inches here. We're just going to do that one more log uh, for this video. But this is a good start. So let's get on the mill and get that last guy in here. Come on. All right, we're in day two of this video now. Got, uh, wasn't calling for it, but we actually got caught in a little bit of rain yesterday, which is fine. Uh, I didn't get caught too bad because I got all these uh, two by twos off the last log we cut, got them cleaned up, and at least air drying overnight here in the barn. And now it's time to just process this. But yeah, I had to wrap up because the rain. And so last night, uh, went on date night as well with Miss Kara, and we got Indian cuisine and it was next to the movie theater and we went and saw Dune 2, three hour long movie. Normally I would be asleep in that, but I actually stayed awake. So if you're looking for a movie suggestion, there you go. Uh, now it's time to process the last of these guys, get them stacked and uh, call this one a wraps. Come on. All right. We're gonna call that a wrap. All in all, I call this a success. Uh, this is our first run at, call it smoking wood or barbecue wood. I think we gotta find the right term. Smoking wood sounds a little wrong to me because I don't want my wood to smoke. I want it to be nice and dry and burn clean. But anyway, so we've got a total of, oh, I just did the math and I forgot the numbers already, but we're trying to get up to 65 inches which is right there. So you see, we got a ways to go. Probably at least, uh, I'm guessing two more white oak logs. I want to keep all the species in each, uh, it's called barbecue wood. Every barbecue wood bundle I want, you know, this needs to be 100% white oak, all the same dimensions. So when we put it in the kiln, everything dries the same, nice and even. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that looks good. It's nice and clean um, when we're, after this goes through the kiln, we'll let it air dry and equalize. That's what I should do. I should grab uh, the moisture meter. I'll be right back. So here we go. We got uh, just a little pin meter here. I think you can see that we're right at 30, over 30%. So over 30% on that, we'll let that dry. Uh, our firewood typically, I mean, we let it sit for almost a year. It gets 20% or less uh, just as it acclimates. So we'll watch this go down, it goes from 30 you know, get it down to probably 20 in that range. And then we will, once we get the kiln, get that set up and we want to bring that down. I want to be at 8% for these guys. So that'll be make it really nice for uh, the barbecue guys, whether it's competition style or guys working in their backyard, all that kind of stuff. So that's where we're heading with this. Like I said, we got a ways to go, probably a few more logs. Um, and then I, I, I wanted to strap this up as well, but I'll probably wait. Uh, I'll get a temporary cover over it for now. And we'll, we'll finish the stack, get up 65 inches, strap it up, get a cover on it, and start letting it air dry and uh, go from there. 
Uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, we had family come visit us last week. Had a great time with them. I'd encourage you guys to go do the same. Uh, reach out to a family member, old friend, something like that. It'll do good for your heart and probably theirs as well. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, tell your mama, tell your friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for being here.